This is a flight on one of those glorious winter clear sky flying days, properly cold and the runway was damp and a little bit tricky to manoeuvre on as you can see now as I'm digging big holes in the turf. But the sky was clear, we were above freezing and it was a cracking day to go flying. First challenge is to get past the molehills. There was an easterly wind and that required the use of runway 09 so we're just backtracking along 27. The turning circle is pretty woeful on the M03. The pedals are connected to the nose wheel via springs, so to turn around in the width of the runway it requires a boot full of power and full pedal. And we just about make it. Lined up slightly to the right of the runway to avoid the molehills. Today was southwest from Ashcroft overhead Wrexham and then up the Dee Valley to Clangothan and from there over the moors towards Clin Alwyn and Clin Brennig and then turning back over the Clwydian Range coming overhead Harden and back in to Ashcroft. One of the many things I love about the gyrocopter is its ability to hover with a half decent wind and here we are just hovering around Beeson Castle. see the patches of frost on the ground as we head west across northern Cheshire towards the Clividian Hills. We're just entering the Dee Valley towards Clangothlan, overhead the Ponts Cathulti, or something like that, excuse my pronunciation, the aqueduct which carries the Clangothlan Canal, and here is the town of Clangothlan. Wind turbines offer a great opportunity to practice hovering skills because they point directly into wind fairly obviously, although you do have to be aware that some of the smaller ones actually point 180 degrees away from the wind. So we are pointing directly in, and it's a case of holding steady over the ground by maintaining an airspeed of typically about 30 miles an hour and adding power to stop the descent. To recover it's a case of gently lowering the nose allowing the airspeed to build and once you're at 60 miles an hour or so it's then adding power and bringing the nose back towards level flight. So straight ahead we have Clint Alwyn and then we're just turning to our right towards the north to Clint a couple of reservoirs which feed the northwest of England. At this point I've made the decision to not head any further towards Snowdonia. It was looking very appealing, you could see the snow on the tops. 
but it was also quite a strong easterly breeze around about 20 knots it would have been higher at the summit of Snowdon and with hindsight I'm glad that I made that call a uh, friend who did fly over said it was extremely bumpy around the summit of Snowdon I was also aware uh, this was a weekend a lovely sunny day in January uh, there would have been a lot of people doing the same uh, it can be a very congested area of airspace so I'd rather personally fly that during the week when it's a bit quieter and you can see Snowdonia on the horizon just beyond the edge of the moors This is the Vale of Cluid, and we're just turning towards, doing a full 360 actually, and as we head out towards the north you'll see the Cluidian range, which our track was going to take us directly overhead. It's getting pretty cold by this point, I've been airborne for uh, about an hour and a half, uh, wearing obviously a full flying suit. I do have a heated jacket, uh, a motorbike jacket, which plugs directly into the gyro. Uh, electrical system and I'd elected to not wear it today thinking it was sunny and I wouldn't need it which was a mistake and one I should know better having done the same several times before and indeed since. This is the town of Rithin and then just beyond it you can see the Cluedian range with the highest peak being Mulvama, Mother Mountain. Because it was fairly windy and I was in the lee of the hills, I elected to go through the narrow gap here rather than directly overhead. So now we're on our final approach on runway 09 at Ashcroft. When you're landing a gyrocopter, the strength of the wind makes a massive difference. Um, the Picking your initial descent point, your IDP, it's a judgement call, as we'll see in a moment. I've called it a little bit too early, the wind at altitude was slightly stronger than I anticipated and the result of that would be if I didn't have power I would end up landing short. So you'll hear that I need to add a little bit of power just to extend the glide, since it's no longer a glide if I'm adding power. And obviously it's far preferable, if you're going to get your IDP wrong, it's preferable to call it too late because it's easy to lose altitude, it's harder to regain altitude that obviously requires an engine which at the moment it's working fine but it's safer to try and do a glide approach so in this particular case I got it slightly wrong called it a little bit early and at this point I'm wanting to land long to reduce the taxi and I'm also looking to make sure that I don't land just before the mole hills So we're down. So as ever, I do hope you enjoyed that flight. And if you did, please do like and subscribe. Thank you.